Hello and welcome guys. It has been quite a while. I am super sorry. I have been busy with my normal day job, but it's time for another video for the carbon markets, everything about carbon markets. And we're going to look at the prices of carbon companies and the carbon price today. The markets have crashed a bit and they have recovered. And the big question is, if there is a market crash, are carbon stocks and carbon credits going to crash with them? As always, if you enjoy content like this, then please make sure to like and subscribe and also check out the Discord server and the Facebook group where people share ideas about carbon markets. I love the community, so become one of them. And now let's switch to the computer. So as we can see, the carbon price is pretty much crashed in March. The Ukraine invasion was responsible for crashing the carbon prices, but we have had a nice rebound in June and July. But unfortunately, the companies that produce carbon credits have not recovered at all they are pretty much down when we look at base carbon and even worse carbon streaming corp so there's a bit of a question here if the global markets fall will the carbon prices fall with it so like we mentioned before the ukraine invasion has crashed the carbon credit prices in march but we had a pretty nice rebound from the low point and we sit not at an all-time high, but still, if you look at the trend, we're moving sideways right now. And we sit around right around the 80 euro mark. And if we look at the normal market, like, for example, the S&P 500 index compared to the carbon credit price, then we see that they are act a bit differently. The EUA futures had a big dump in March and have rebounded yet. And the SPX is still going down in a negative trend. But this is for the compliance markets. So we have to take a different approach because I think in, in times of liquidity crunch and in times of not a lot of, and in times when there's not a lot of money in the system, then the voluntary market takes a hit. As we can see in base carbon and carbon streaming corp, the compliance market got pretty much wiped out for these two companies. So the question is, are the voluntary carbon markets going still further down or is this right now a quite good buying opportunity? I will answer that question in a second, but first let's talk about the overall compliance market situation. The truth is nothing has changed. Experts even say that the Ukraine conflict will boost the demand for carbon offsets because let's face it, the European Union is going back to coal and they have still committed to the decarbonization goals. So they're back to coal, which is probably the dirtiest forms of energy, but they're still holding on to their decarbonization goals. The EU wants more renewables, they want more decarbonization, and they're probably going to need more carbon credits. And they even want to rethink the carbon border tax. So the regulations are probably going to be less strict and they're going, because they realize they're going to need more carbon credits to reach their CO2 goals than before, and they're still holding on to it. So... The macro picture of the compliance market, especially in Europe, does not, hasn't really changed. And I don't think it has changed all around the world. Countries are joining the global carbon market, the voluntary carbon market. They see there is a profit opportunity here. So there are more and more players entering the market. And even India is thinking about opening a carbon trading platform. And the second reason I think that the compliance carbon markets are going to be even more in demand is that the fossil fuel companies have record profit. While everything is going a bit too down through the shitters, the fossil fuel companies make a tremendous amount of money right now. And the people are like, wait a minute, you should be the one paying it. You're polluting the environment and you're making much money. Well, that's not going to fare well with the people. So if we look at the compliance market, my conclusion would be from a macro standpoint, nothing has changed. On the voluntary carbon market side, we can see that there has been a, quite a sell. I think when companies are struggling financially, and this is the companies and the individuals, then the global decarbonization gets a second rank priority. It's not the priority number one anymore. So overall, I think the trend to decarbonization is still very much on the table. I think in the short term, when there's not a lot of liquidity in the market, then the decarbonization target would be not as important. So this could be a buying opportunity. I'm watching very closely Carbon Streaming Corp. I'm actually going to be releasing a video soon, I hope soon, about if Carbon Streaming Company is interesting from my standpoint of view. So stay tuned if you want to see that video. 
at one point they have traded at over 16 Canadian dollars and are now sitting around right at three dollars so if things go back to normal and the trend is followed then this could be a 6x stocks and you could even buy cheaper I think it was it's even cheaper than most private placements. I think the cheapest was 75 US cents. I think the cheapest was 75 US cents, but this was a one to five stock consolidation. So five times 75 cents is right around $3.50. So we're sitting pretty much at the starting price. So I think this might be quite an opportunity here. So I am definitely thinking about it. But I want to know about you, what do you think about the overall trend in the compliance markets and what do you think about the voluntary carbon markets? How do you see them looking in the future? Are you buying? Are you thinking about buying compliance carbon credits? Are you thinking about buying voluntary carbon credits? I think the voluntary carbon market looks pretty interesting right now. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. As always, I love having part in the conversation. Again, check out the Discord server and the Facebook group. And we will see each other in another video soon, I hope.